Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and with the introduction of iOS 26 with its all new liquid glass design, updated control center and many other updates, I thought we'd talk about the updates that Apple mentioned for AirPods. We'll talk about the new features, we'll talk about how you can install it and try it out early, as well as when to expect its release, and of course the supported devices. And as far as supported devices, this is a little bit of a disappointment for the new features. You need the H2 chipset which limits it to just a few AirPods. That means the AirPods 4, AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation, AirPods Pro 2, both with either Lightning or USB-C. Unfortunately, if you have the latest AirPods Max, even with USB-C, you won't be able to use the latest features. So that's definitely a disadvantage if you have those, but with AirPods Pro 2, it looks like that's where they're making the push and you'll have all of the latest features. Now this feature requires a beta update as well if you want to try it out. Now something Apple listened to finally is if we go into our settings here, within settings if we go into our normal AirPods area here, if you're not already installing the update, it will actually prompt you this time and say that there's a new update, a beta update available if you're on iOS 26. Scroll to the bottom though if you didn't see that, and what you can do is go into a new menu for AirPod beta updates. You no longer will have to go and connect your iPhone to a Mac and then have it connect with Xcode so that you get a developer account. You can just enable it here, and if you want to do that, then install the update. So far, there's not an update button yet, but you can update them the same way you typically update your AirPods. All I did was listen to music for about 30 seconds, went into music with them connected, listen to music, put them back in the case, close the case, put them next to my phone, locked the phone and walked away. About 15 minutes or later, or even less, came back and it was already updated. Now, once it was updated, it did greet me with a splash screen with some of the latest features. You can see those here where it says what's new in AirPods. We'll talk about those in a moment with camera control, sleep updates, charging reminders, as well as pause media when I fall asleep. And so those are the new features, but let's take a look. So if we go into our settings here, scroll to the bottom, you'll know that you're updated if we go to the bottom here and you see the firmware version of 8A279D. This is on the AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C and the case version I currently have is 74.5.0. The first thing Apple says that's new is some quality updates for the audio. In particular, with the H2 chipset and beam forming microphones, they're using computational audio to allow you to get better vocal texture and clarity across iPhone calls, FaceTime and call kit enabled apps. One of the big features they showed though, was that you can record high quality audio when making videos or using your device to do things like record a podcast. So for example, when it's connected, it should have much higher quality audio. So again, you will need the AirPods 4 or AirPods Pro 2. And if I go ahead and connect those, we'll just put them in my ears and take a listen to it. So we'll go into the camera here. We'll go into video and let's go ahead and record. So this is now audio coming from the AirPods Pro 2. Let me know what you think as far as the overall quality. Maybe they haven't updated it yet. Hopefully we'll be able to adjust this in the future as well. But let me know how it sounds compared to my Heil PR40 mic. So let's test that out and let me know what you think of that. Now to go along with the camera, they've actually added some new controls here. If we scroll down, you'll see a new option for camera remote. So they disconnected there. We'll give them a second to reconnect. Again, keep in mind it's a beta. This is expected. And if we go into our settings down here, we have camera remote. Under camera remote, we now can control the camera by pressing once on the stem or pressing and holding. By pressing and holding or pressing once, we can then activate the camera. So you'll see we have them here. I'll just place them in my ear. And then if I press on the stem, it starts recording. If I press again, it then stops recording. If we go into the photo mode, press once, it will actually give me a countdown so I can get ready and then it will take a photo. So again, press it again, gives me a countdown and then we can take the photo. So that gives you an idea. If you wanna use that, you can use that to record audio and we have that as a new option. Now again in our menu, if we scroll down, just below where we have microphone, we now have a new option to pause media when falling asleep. So we can enable that if we'd like, where we'll just have it turn off and pause when we fall asleep. And we don't know if it turns back on after you wake up, but 
Typically it will pause when you fall asleep and just turn that off. So that's a nice little update if you want to use that. Another thing they've updated has to do with Apple CarPlay. So maybe you're listening to music or maybe a podcast or audiobook, and you're using your AirPods and then you go to get in your car, the audio will automatically switch from the car to your AirPods. You can set an option for that and it goes along with a new setting. So again, if we go back to our settings, go to general, this time under airplay and continuity, you'll see we have an option to keep audio in headphones. So it goes along with automatic switching and it says when using AirPods or other connected headphones, keep audio in your headphones when other playback devices like cars and speakers connect to iPhone. So it makes it much easier as you're just sort of moving around devices. Another update has to do with notifications. Right after installing iOS 26, it immediately told me that I needed to charge my AirPods 4. It was a new indication through a notification at the top, and then also it told me when it was fully charged. So you'll see those if you have AirPods, letting you know that you need to charge them or when they're completely charged. However, if you're wondering if you should install the AirPods beta update along with iOS 26 beta, I would highly recommend against that until the public beta. Currently it's definitely a little bit buggy. It's in an early state and I would recommend against it as there's been some issues here and there. That's not unexpected. That's normal for a beta. So I would just hold off if you don't have additional devices to try them on. Now, if you are running the beta, I would recommend using the feedback app, letting Apple know that there's additional issues that you're having going in there and then filling out that information. Apple will use that if they haven't seen it before and sometimes reach out to you to try and get more information. So definitely make sure you're submitting feedback and hopefully you'll have a decent experience and then they'll improve it over over time. As far as the public release, well, the public beta is supposed to be in July, and then the final release to the public should be sometime in September. Typically in the second or third week of September around the iPhone launch, that's when you can expect those as well. We could have some new AirPods firmware updates in between though to address bugs or different issues, but either way, you should get those if you've got that enabled. So let me know if you found any additional features Apple didn't mention in the comments below. And of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.